Well, new at 11, Jupiter is being invaded by land crabs. Homeowners watching their yards being chewed up one action, but Andrew Lofholm live in one neighborhood to tell us there may not be much that they can do about these invaders. Andrew? Michael, it's been an interesting day learning about these nocturnal crustaceans, but they are elusive. They're tough to find, but what's not hard to find is where they live. Check out this hole. There are holes all over this backyard where these crabs have burrowed inside where they spend most of their day. They live under your lawn near the sea. You can put your hand quite a ways. Blue land crabs have been ravaging Tammy Walsh's backyard, forcing her and her husband to play a sort of whack a crab. We just keep filling them in and they keep digging them out. So uh, we just try to keep the underbrush as short as we can. The land crab is nocturnal, eating anything from tree roots to rotting fish. They dig just deep enough to reach the water table. They do um, need to wet their gills just like, you know, any any crab would, but they uh, don't necessarily need to go uh, into the water. They hug the coast and stay where the water is warm enough to breed. In the United States, it hasn't been seen north of Vero Beach. Tammy was originally looking for possible solutions, but it's illegal to harvest or even possess blue land crabs between July 1st and October 31st. She's seen them before, though, because she has a place in the Bahamas where the land crab is abundant. They're great. They're a delicacy. <laughs> we eat them down there. Crab and rice, crab and dough, boiled crab, baked stuffed crab. So we enjoy them down there. Now, open season on land crabs starts on November 1st. You can bag up to 20 a day, but you do need your fishing license. We're live in Jupiter, Andrew Lawfoam, WPTV News Channel 5.